Hey there everybody, in this video we are going to talk about discounting. Discounting can be a fantastic reason to get people to take action. People like to justify their purchases and things that they're buying with some kind of logic and so a discount can be the thing that pushes people over to get them to become a customer. But it's important that you don't abuse discounting. I'm going to explain what I mean by that in a second and we're going to show you exactly how you can use discounting to be very very effective at selling products and services to your audience. Hey there everybody my name is Brandon Brashears. I do daily digital marketing videos here on this channel so if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing please consider subscribing here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Let's talk about discounting. So discounting is a fantastic tool that you can use to drive action for your business. Now, you will hear a lot of people say that discounting is like a drug, and I totally agree. If you have a list or a business and what you're doing is just constantly using discounts to get action, and every single time you send out an email, you're sending out a discount, or if you have an event, you're sending out a discount, or if you're constantly running sales, you're going to train your audience to expect discounts. And what'll end up happening is that people will say, well, I'm just gonna wait until it goes on sale again. You don't want that to happen. And if you're also using discounts as a way to compete, that is very dangerous because it becomes a race to the bottom with your competitors. If you think about like Kmart and Walmart, that race to the bottom with discounting was detrimental. Kmart went out of business. Um, and Walmart, basically all that they have is price, right? And so when you're, using price as the motivator to get people to take action, you're just a commodity. So making and establishing value in ways other than price is extremely important. That's not what we're gonna talk about in this video though, because while it is important not to you know, devalue your, your products and services with discounts, by the same token, you need people to take action. You need to give them a reason to take action. And so discounting can be a great way to do that. Now I'm a huge fan of trials as well. Free trials are fantastic ways to get your foot in the door and to get people using and hooked on your product. And so I think that discounting free trials is a great way to get people to take action as well. But I think that if you are going to do discounting, there needs to be number one, a story attached to it. So the first thing that I think you need to do when you're doing discounting, there needs to be a reason for the discount. That way people don't expect that every single time they get an email from you, there's going to be a discount. So what is the story that you can associate with the discount that you're offering? Do you have something that's new and interesting? Do you have something that is doing really well, it's successful? Do you have something that is very popular? Do you have something that, you know, a reason or a holiday? Um, what is the reason that you're having this sale? You can overuse the sales too, though. I mean, one of the things that comes to mind is the um, auto industry in the car business where they always have sales for seriously everything that comes up and as a result you're going to wait till the next sale that happens to go and get your car shopping done right and then you contrast that with something like CarMax where you know the price is always consistent there's not a reason to hold off there right they're building a different value proposition but if you have a business and you are doing a new product launch and you want people to get started and you you could easily craft the story hey we have this new product coming out and to celebrate this new product we are offering 15 percent off of it or you could say hey we are you could do all kinds of things to incentivize people to take action on that discount now if you're doing a launch or a product launch or it's for a special event or it's because you know a specific event has happened that's giving people an excuse of hey this is a one-time thing I should take action because I'm going to miss out using fear of loss with discounting is actually very very helpful too so number one was give a specific story around that discount the second idea that you can use discounting with is that you can give people a reward basically for taking action within a certain amount of time or doing the thing that you're looking for them to do in a quick or prompt you know way of, of doing it. So let's say that you do a live webinar, for example, and you're driving people to get on your live webinar. Once they've attended your webinar, they understand what your product and service is about. If you give them an offer with urgency that says, hey, if you want to sign up for this product or service and you do so in the next three days, we're going to give you this special deal. So 
asking people to take action and rewarding their quick behavior with a discount is also very helpful. And you can craft a story around that too, is you know, if we don't have to follow up with you and you just get started right away, that's going to save our salespeople money. We don't have to, you know, go and, and do all of these things. So it's gonna save us money, it'll save you money, and we'll begin working together. So that makes a lot of sense too. And in doing that, you're rewarding people who are taking quick action and are hopefully gonna be the best clients and customers that you can have. They're gonna to wanna to do business with you already. And so as a result, they're getting a benefit, which is a discount. Now, an important strategy that you can use with discounts too, is if you're trying to drive quick action and quick behavior with it, you can reward people who take action first. So if you limit the number of discounts that you're going to offer, you're gonna incentivize people to take action more quickly. And so I think that adding limits to your discounts specifically scarcity to your discount as far as the number of discounts available, time limits to your discounts are extremely important. And that gives you a reason to keep showing up without having to continually remind people that you're discounting. So if people wanna take advantage of the special offer, they need to do so, we're gonna run out. You know, here's an update on how many we have left. Now we're sold out, sorry, you should have done it. But here's the product that you can still get. And all of those reasons to show up help give you opportunities to promote your offer and ultimately will help you to sell more. So discounting definitely has its place and not only does it have its place, but there are definitely personality types that won't buy things unless there is a discount or a reason. So if you wanna capture that section of the marketplace, and I'm sure you know people that are like that, that are just frugal and they don't wanna buy something unless they feel like they're getting a good deal. So make them feel special, make them feel like they are getting something special and don't don't, don't, don't. When you're doing a discount, don't forget to remind them of the deal that they're getting. Remind them of all the value that they're getting for ex in exchange for the price that they're getting. A lot of times people will just kind of gloss over the fact that, hey, this is all of the stuff that you're getting. They need to understand the true value of it so that they feel like they have a, a big win. And then the next time that you offer a product or service, they're going to feel very loyal to your brand or your business and they're going to enjoy buying things from you again. So I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, you need help with anything, comment below. I'm happy to help. I make daily digital marketing videos here. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day, everybody.